Supernova Moon Tarot. My name is Starsha. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel. It's a pleasure to be in your energy. Cross watchers, you know you're always welcome. And returning viewers, thanks for coming on back. Subscribers, don't forget to hit that bell. Aquarius, let's go ahead and dive straight into your energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. We're going to call on our ancestors, angels, ascended masters. Give us the current energy for the Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Aquarius, I'm seeing the number five here. Lots of changes going on with you. We've got let's start a family here as your primary energy. So really wanting to commit, really wanting to plow in the dirt, build something and grow, all right? Wanting to start a family, a dynasty is what I'm hearing. Now, what's causing this energy? We have torn between the two, but there seems to be some type of confusion here, Aquarius. You're trying to decide, to decide whether you want to commit to some type of entity, unit, relationship, or not. There's an indecision here with you. There's an indecision here with you. Let's see what the root of this indecision is for the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. What is this indecision about, Spirit? Give me some information here, please. Thank you. Heartbreak in reverse. So there's something that hasn't healed in this relationship. There's a lack of forgiveness here. There's a lack of healing here. Heartbreak in reverse. Or is there a healing? If the heartbreak is in reverse, there's been a healing. But yet and still, Aquarius, there's a confusion. Give me some more information on the heartbreak in reverse. Let's see if it's supposed to be coming out upright or in reverse. All right, give me some more clarity on the heartbreak in reverse card. I'm stuck in a situation here. So you're not sure if you, you've really released something here, Aquarius. You're not sure if you release either the pain of the past or the pain that someone has bestowed upon you. So there seems to be an energy of someone coming in, Aquarius, saying to you, hey, let's start a family. But there's an energy of confusion here. There's a push, there's a pull, there's a struggle because... There's in a little bit of uneasiness, a little bit of back and forth when it comes to the reality of have I really healed from what this person has put me through? All right, let's take a look at the recent past here. What's going on with the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node? Let's take a look at the recent past for the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the North Node. All right. So we have third party. All right. We have the power couple energy, but it looks like it's coming out in reverse. And we have communication. Third party, power couple in reverse. Communication. So it was communicated to you, Aquarius, that your partner was involved with some type of third party that created a downfall power couple in reverse in your connection and your commitment. There was some type of third party entity that intruded on the growth and the, the development of this relationship. It depleted all potential is what I'm hearing. So you received communication. There was an awakening, an enlightenment, a revealing of something. Okay? But this person wants to start a family with you. And then we have the energy of being torn between the two. 
Let's see what's on your mind, and then we're going to actually pull some um, Manzo Tarot. We're going to get some characters and see what's going on here. I'm done in reverse, but in your mind, you're confused. There's a confusion here. You're not really sure if you're done with this person or not. I'm done in reverse. But I still haven't forgiven you for the heartbreak that you caused me. This is why I was like, you know, a little hesitant with the heartbreak card. I was a little confused because what I was feeling was that someone has not fully forgiven someone. Someone does not fully trust someone to ever give their heart again to them. There was something that was done in the past that involved a third party entity. I'm hearing media. Okay. There was some information that was exposed. There was some communication. Now, whether this communication was a lie or truth, because I'm getting gossip, I'm getting betrayal, I'm getting sabotage. So Aquarius, there was someone that you were committed to that was not committed to you. They were more committed to pleasing those that were around them. They were more committed to pleasing their ego and using you at all costs to boost themselves. They used your gifts to their advantage in this relationship is what I'm picking up. Give me some more information on the past for the Aquarius. We have celibacy here. We have multiple options. So you're choosing to abstain from this person and pursue additional options. But this person is wanting to come back to you. This is an energy of somebody ushering in wanting to come back to you. Because they recognize, they realize the loss that they took when they betrayed you. Betraying you is betraying themselves. We have releasing the past in reverse. So this person is not willing to let go of you despite the betrayal, okay? Give me some more. And this is the thing. There's a part of you, Aquarius, that is still attached to this person. There's a part of you that wants to start over again and forgive this person for their selfish ways or their in con goodness, infidelities, inconsistencies, all right? There's a part of you who's still confused, who's still attached. What's coming towards you, Aquarius? What's coming towards the Aquarius? Crown chakra is coming out. It's coming out in reverse. Something that you don't see is coming towards you. Crown chakra in reverse. I'm seeing amethyst. You want to start carrying amethyst with you? There's something that you're not getting. There's something that you're not seeing. Or there's something that you don't see coming. Give me more information on what's coming towards the Aquarius. Crown chakra in reverse. See, there's a lack of clarity here. There's a lack of clarity. All right? We have divine connection. What you don't see coming is a divine connection. Crown chakra in reverse. Give me more information about what the Aquarius does not see though. Something regarding a divine connection. Let me see. Aquarius. Give me a second, y'all. <laughs> okay. This is what I'm saying. Like, like, bear with me. You know what I'm saying? You don't see that somebody's wearing a false mask in a connection. <clears throat> but you see now, you're getting the messages now. So you have someone coming towards you, a divine con connection that has on a false mask. This is the same person that is talking about, let's start a family. This is the same person that is torn between the two. So it seems like there's still some things going on in this with this energy torn between the two. So this person that's coming towards you is coming towards you screaming, 
let's start a family, let's start a family, let's start a family. Inside of you, there's still an energy of love there, but there's also a recognition that this is not good for you. Okay, this is not healthy for your growth is what it looks like. We have I'm done in reverse because what you don't really see is that this person is wearing a false mask. There's something about this person, this connection that you don't see. Let's see. Um, what's going on here? And I'm not even saying, you no. Know, it's good or it's bad, but let's see what's going on here. What is it that we need to see? We have the crown chakra card in reverse, or maybe you see this person for who they really are and you know that you don't need to continue to be in a connection with this person. Seven of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Four of Pentacles here, definitely big earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We've got the Temperance. We have the Magician card here. Okay, so it seems like, you see, I see the three of cups here. Again, this is giving me third party energy. But when it fell to the table, it fell out in reverse. So it's like, after the downfall, after your demise, after you had all of your fun, after you took advantage of me, after you took the money and ran, you know what I'm saying? Like after you did what you did, gossip about me, just dancing and eating chicken, dancing and eating chicken, you know what I'm saying? That's seen off Friday, okay? After all that said and done and after all of that came tumbling down, now you want to run back, now you want to try to manifest something with me, now you want to get on the good foot with me, Cause there's this energy of hordism like there's this energy of this person feeling as if they own you okay they feel as if they possess you they own you and we have the seven of pentacles here big big earth energy here i'm hearing toil and labor toil and labor is what i'm hearing Toil and labor is what this person is going through. This is why they want to manifest this balanced life with you. This is why they want to hold on to you because the karma, because the karma is real. All right? Big earth energy. Big earth energy. All right? Torn between the two. Torn between reality and truth torn between what's what's deception and what's not like this person is wearing a false mask it's 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 the lie and the truth the truth is behind the mask and you there's something about you that's still like attached to this person crown chakra in reverse this, this is like a big twin flame energy here. But this person is working to manifest you back into their life. This is why you might feel like sometimes you might find yourself like daydreaming about this person. And then all of a sudden you find yourself just thinking about this person out of the blue. It's because this person is trying to manifest you back into their life, manifest temperance and balance back into their life. You were the, the key to the balance in their life. And now that roles have reversed and the universe has shifted in your favor, they are now receiving what they put out towards you. And it's nothing but toil and labor, toil and labor. Okay, so this person is really trying to manifest you back and it's important for you to see this, okay? So how do you see yourself at this time? How do you, ooh, you know, these cards are falling all over the place, y'all. This is a lot. Let me get my cards. <laughs> Good intentions is here. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself, Aquarius? 
Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the North Node. Lust in reverse, spiritual guidance, good fortune. This is the thing. It's like the love and the passion that you had for this person is gone. Like you no longer want him. You no longer want them. Okay? You no longer want them. But there's still that attachment there. So this is why the spiritual guidance card here is, uh, this is why the spiritual guidance card is here. This is why the good fortune card is here. Because there's something about this person manifesting bad things to happen in your life, losses to continuously occur in your life. If you don't choose to be with them, they wish you the worst. They wish you the lack of fortune in your life. So spiritual guidance is highlighted here. So some of you guys might be delving into, uh, look, we got the solar plexus chakra here. We've got support here. So this is like, this is for me, this is spiritual messages, paternal trauma here, excuse me, paternal trauma here, spiritual awakening. Okay, so this is all about continuing to heal, all right? Understanding that you have support in higher levels to defeat this energy, okay? To defeat this energy because it's almost like this in, this energy is in love with you and hates you at the same time, adores you and despises you at the same time because they have this four of pentacles energy as well where they feel like they own you. Okay, they feel like they own you. Interesting, interesting. So they want to own your mind. They want to own your body. They want to own your belongings, okay? Don't hate the player, hate the game energy. So there has to be a level of clarity for you in order to clear this karmic debt, okay? In order to like close this cycle here. Because this is some, this seems like something that's resurfacing from the past, Aquarius. This seems to be something resurfacing from the past. Let's see um, how people see you at this time. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself, Aquarius? Conflict with the earth sign. Exactly. Big, heavy earth energy. This is like an ongoing thing with an earth sign. Like this person just will not get out of your energy, will not stop trying to manifest a relationship, will not stop trying to manifest a connection with you. Conflict with an earth sign. I'm tired of this. I want to let it go. But there's something in their psyche. There's still some, some type of attachment or some type of manipulation, okay, that's going on with with you and this person, this earth sign, okay? How do people see you? Interesting, Aquarius. Um, marriage. People see you as marriage material is what I'm seeing. This person sees you as marriage material. Like they want you for themselves. Okay. This person wants you for themselves. All right. So let's see. Um, Let's see what your hopes and fears are. Oh my goodness. There's a little bit of a fear here. Air sign. Okay. So clarity. You want clarity. You want to, I feel like some of you guys want to know how to get out of this situation, how to get yourself away from this person, how to get uh, off of this spell, how to overcome this. Like it's something about the way that this person manipulates in your life and, and, and it's causing a disturbance for you. So I'm saying you really want to be done. Like you're tired of the attachments. Okay. So let's see. Um, um, what's an outcome? What's the outcome for the Aquarius? That's crazy. What's the outcome? Wow. The outcome for the Aquarius cohabitation and new beginnings. So any co connections with this person is going to come to an end. There's going to be a new beginning. There's not going to be a new rekindling of this relationship. There's not going to be any type of harboring or hosting. Okay. When you talk about, when you think about cohabitation, you think about ho like ho coming together and hosting, harboring. Okay. A cohabitation, something that holds. Okay. Um, so there's not going to be anything holding you or housing you or owning you. There's an energy of something owning you or lording over you, okay? Cohabits you, okay? Um, if that makes any sense on a spiritual level, okay? Um, we have new beginnings here, all right? So definitely big disconnection energy here. I'm picking up like big stalker energy, all right? Big stalker energy is what I'm channeling as well. <clears throat> 
Um, let me go ahead and pull a um, Healing with the Angels Oracle to see if there's going to be any additional messages for you guys. Um, anything that you need to know specifically about this person. I see that you guys are very, very attractive. Like there's a lot of people addicted to you, all right? But these are a lot of karmic connections coming back. These are a lot of karmic connections, all right? So be mindful of that. Use your clarity, Aquarius, all right? So um, um, follow that spirit spiritual guidance because following that guiding star, that spiritual guidance is really going to give you that clarity meditation. It's going to give you that clarity knowledge, reading, you know, feeding the mind is going to give you clarity. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and see what messages we have for the Aquarius. What, wow. What spiritual messages do we have for the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node? <laughs> just meditation all right meditation all right so let's go ahead and read that for you and we will be all set with your reading this is going to be pretty important to hear because we actually just mentioned that and then it came out twice so that's double confirmation so um take a listen to this aquarius all right so meditation meditation is very important for you right now enjoy practicing it often Quiet, a quiet mind hears the voice of the angels more easily. This card is your angel's way of asking you to quiet your mind so that your angelic communications are loud and clear. First thing in the morning, spend at least five minutes with your eyes closed and breathe deeply three or four times. Ask your angels a question and then listen as intently as you would to a dear friend. Don't strain to listen. If you chase the answer, it will evade you. Instead, continue to breathe in and out deeply and allow yourself to relax. Tell yourself that receiving angelic communication is natural for you and that is actually an everyday experience. The more you relax your mind, the easier it is for you to hear the answer all right Aquarius so this is your reading so you've got someone really pulling on you really trying to manifest you back in all kind of ways maybe through social media maybe through different means um, of, of media okay I'm definitely getting big phone energy hacker energy okay you've got someone trying to hack your mind hack your information they want to own you they want to possess you Aquarius all right so you know continue to detach continue to meditate Meditate, all right, um, and and focus on what is what is valuable to you. These new beginnings that are coming your way, okay. So this is going to be your reading, Aquarius. It's been a pleasure to be in your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And it's been a pleasure, all right. I will see you guys very very soon. Be well, okay. <laughs> Bye, Aquarius. Thanks for watching and donating to the channel. Love, Starship.